your lifespan is fixed with God. And God, with infinite wisdom, has chosen the number of days that you will live here. He chose the day of your birth. He chose the time in history. He chose the place in history. He chose who your parents would be. He chose who your siblings would be. He chose those people who would be around you as you grow up, and He has already gone before you and marked the day of your death. How foolish it would be to live as though there is no approaching day of death. And that day of death is determined by God with infinite wisdom. A few years ago, I was preaching in Houston, Texas in a conference. They asked me to speak on the subject of the sovereignty of God in salvation, which I gladly did. And after I preached one of those messages, it was a Saturday morning, I got in the car of the man who was my host, and he was going to drive me where I was staying, and his cell phone rang. And he answered it and then handed it to me and said, it is for you. My wife was on the other end, and she said, your father has just passed away. My first thought was, and I knew it to be true, this is the perfect day. This is the perfect day that God chose for my father to leave this world and to go into the presence of God. Though I would want him to live longer and longer in a sense, I don't want him to live one day beyond God's perfect day. And there is a perfect day that has been already marked for your departure from this world. And how wise you would be to think about that day. Jonathan Edwards, when he wrote his 70 resolutions, when he was an 18 and 19-year-old young teenager, many of his resolutions were to think much of his day of death, such that when he came to the end of his life, he said, I don't want to be like other people who die and, and who have regrets. He said, I want to die without any regrets. And in a very real sense, when he died at Princeton University in the second floor of the president's home, he was able to say to his daughter who was at his side, I have no regrets. He had prepared his entire life for the day of his death. Are you preparing right now today for the day of your death? 